What is going on guys, Dark Heartless here, and today we have another Resident Evil 4 remake video, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Bruce to Condor 1, I've identified a route to the lake. Look for a large windmill, there's a path on the far side of it. Windmill. Copy that. And be careful. Bruce out. Whatever you say, Hannigan, you sexy beast, you. All right, so let's go ahead. We went ahead and scavenged uh, for any loot but uh, these couple of buildings. So after that, we should be good to go to um, continue continue on through the village. All right, open. All right, so that should be it in this area. All right, what about here? What do we got? Ooh, hell yeah, some ammo. I'll take that, sir. Thank you kindly. Uh, professional mode. Uh, they do kind of uh, jip you on ammo, so I will gladly take it. And right now, we are looking for a windmill, as Hanagan said, because that is where our destination is to get Ashley. Um, thank God, in this remake, they made her a little bit more... I wouldn't sit there and say useful, but at least she's not in the way as much. She's still kind of annoying, but nowhere near as bad as she was. Excuse me, sir. Oh my god, you got a machete? That man was gonna try and hack us to pieces. Okay, hang on, let me see if I can do this right. The last time I played this, I did not do it right. Hang on, let's do right there, right? Bam, alright. Yeah, because um, that's actually where, if it falls in there, it actually can get dirty and lose value. I don't know why. You can't just clean it off, but, you know, whatever. Maybe it's that magical uh, mud that doesn't come off, I guess. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to sit there and take your valuables. Oh, sorry. Oh. You're having a rough day, it seems. Look at all this awesome wildlife. You would think that it would, they would try to kill it to, uh, you know, eat, but apparently... Whoa, what the hell? Chicken just tried to sit there and use his martial arts skills on us, bro. He doesn't know that Leon knows martial arts as well. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get these blue medallions out of the way, while also watching out for the other villagers because they will wreck us. Alright, there should be a box right? Oh, there it is. Alright. There we are, boys. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. Um, is this door locked or unlocked? I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to say it's locked, but we should be okay. Um, let's just grab this note, because this is going to tell us exactly where all the remaining me medallions are. Um, I think this is where we have to go to go to up top. Alright, so, um, usually a lot of people, uh, deactivate this, but you just want to go underneath it, because, um, you be able to use it against the, uh, I guess you could sit there and call him an ox guy or whatever the hammer guy, whatever you want to call him, um, because that way it saves you some ammo, especially when you're playing professional mode. Um, ammo is pretty scarce at times, and so you definitely want to keep as much as possible. All right. Surprise, mother... Oh, damn. Yeah, see, right now, we're killing them relatively with ease, uh, but that will definitely change, believe me. Are you gonna come? I'm, I'm trying not, I'm trying not to jump down to see if you'll come through, but apparently not. Oh, yeah, it's time to bounce, boys. Oh, oh big boy is coming. Run for it. All right, so we're gonna go all the way down. We're gonna make first. We're gonna make sure that he's following us the right way. Oh my God, that man almost tried to sit there and throw his axe at us. All right, here we go. 
Oh, wrong way, wrong way. All right, he's doing his little animation where he swings, but we are okay. Let's just go ahead, bop down. And then we're gonna wait right here. And this guy doesn't have a brain, so he's just gonna walk right in front. And then we're gonna sit there and walk right past him. Get back on the, uh... Oh, damn. get back in this corner and now we're just gonna have fun bam bam oh look at that does anybody else want to have any fun I'm ready come on show yourself oh there you are hey how you going who all right so that should be it and now we can just go ahead and get the uh, cog, put it in there, and we can go ahead and press on further into the village. Um, I was actually, on my first playthrough, I believe I was dumb enough to deactivate it, and I didn't realize that you could use it. Kind of a, a waste, because, uh, you know, I ended up using a lot of ammo to try and kill him, when I could have easily um, used that. But let's Go ahead and open this real quick. Not that it really matters anymore, but... Damn, another ruby. We're rich. Alright, we got some ammo. That's cool. Alright, knife. Alright, we got the cog. Alright, so we still have two more uh, left. And a chicken has dropped an egg. So that is a plus for us. So let's go ahead and... It's right over here is the last medallion, well not the last medallion, but one of the medallions. Bam. Grab the egg. And it should be on that other side of the wall right there, so. Let me see, can I, can I get it without, oh, I want it, the, obviously we want the health, but it's right, wait, hang on, what is, oh, we don't have the key for that, I remember. Never mind. We do not have the uh, the key for that. Oh, and we also uh, forgot about one of our treasures. So, hang on. Let's go back for that. Also, the medallion should be in the same area. So, kind of killing two birds with one stone. And that's the last medallion. Bam! Now we just go out of here. And we can grab that treasure. And now this is open, so this little area is able to be moved around, so we don't have to worry about being uh, in tight spot. Wait, we want to go upstairs, right? Yeah. All right. So now that all the enemies are done, we got all the important valuables and the medallions. We're gonna go ahead and put the cog in here. We're going to go ahead and move on to a different area of the village. Alright, guys. So, we're going to go ahead and go on to the next parts of the village. Um, the village is actually one of my favorite uh, areas in Resident Evil 4. Um, I do like the island. I know the island for some people, and that's their favorite because of all the new enemies and stuff like that. Um, but I do, I do really enjoy the village. Alright, so let's go ahead and go this go this way. Wait, are, are we going the right way? Yeah, yeah, this is the right way. Okay. I don't know. I was all turned around for some reason. Alright, so we're going to hope that we get ammo and we got money. Um, like I said, um, money is not a bad thing if you have a lot of stuff to still upgrade. Um, but if you don't... Um, it is definitely going to be a problem later on in the game when enemies start to become a little bit stronger and you know more of them start showing up in bunches and um, unfortunately all we got is money so 
hopefully, um, you know, it, it helps out towards the end. Um, because if not, we are going to run into some problems. All right, let's go ahead and push this bad boy. All right. So now we're going to go to the different area of the village, trying to look for Ashley still. There's ammo. Yes, we got ammo. I mean, not a lot of ammo, but hell, I'll take it. Oh, damn. Oh, oh. Well, damn. That dude just had a terrible day. All right, so we're going to want to go ahead and knock these guys off as quickly as possible because there's actually a guy behind us. And here he is. Oh, damn, one bullet? Wow, that... If you don't see that a whole off, like, usually it's, like I said, two or three as of right now, but one bullet? Hell, we'll take it. Alright, see? Like, even though he's supposed to be, quote-unquote, strong at this, uh, this part, because we have the Red 9, it's... The Red 9 is probably my favorite handgun in any Resident Evil, just because of how powerful it is. It is definitely a, a really good gun. I know certain people like the butterfly. On the, what is it? Is it called the butterfly? Um, it's the one that double penetrates. Um, it's called. It's called. It's the. It's the. It's the gun that you usually get for getting uh, ten medallions in the original. But there we go. We got us a headshot. That's what I'm talking about. Um, because it goes through two enemies, so it saves you am ammo if you can get, you know, enemies to line up, but I've always been a big fan of the, uh, the Red 9. It's definitely one of my favorite guns. The Matilda is cool, but in this game it kind of sucks. Like, in my opinion. Oh, damn, I meant to sit there and shoot that. Oh. Oh, okay, alright. Everybody's just going ahead, bro. Ease up a minute, sir. All right. Dead. You're dead. Bro, where? How are you getting pinpoint accuracy over here, Tom Brady? This man's over here was like, "Yo, man, how how are you hitting me through the wall?" This man is literally hitting me through the wall. Like this man's life depended on this. He's like, yeah, Lord Sadler sat there and said, if I hit you a bunch, like, five times, I can get me a gold wagon. That's the, Fer that's the version of the Ferrari for us in our village. So I'm going to get me some chrome wheels and a, a golden wagon. I mean, that dude literally hit me from through the wall. Like, that was insane. Ma'am, excuse me. Uh, I don't want to play with your butthole, thank you. Are you calling me an imbecile, sir? That is not very nice. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That was actually pretty damn close. Holy crap. All right, all right, Where, where did her... Oh, her thing went over there. I was going to say, where the... I did not see where her uh, freaking dynamite stick went. All right, here we go. We grab that. Come on, ammo. Damn, why are we only getting freaking money? Oh, there we go. I mean, we got shotgun shells. I mean, that's not a whole lot, but... Um, and the other big reason um, that we're using the sniper rifle um, rather than using, like, say, a shotgun or whatever like that, um, I, ha I usually try to use uh, the strongest weapons I have to, in the beginning of the game so that I can try and save ammo. The sniper rifle is good f um, for, you know, when the enemies grow the extra heads and stuff like that, but that's not until later of the game. Once once you see the animation for the very first one is when I stop uh, using the sniper rifle because obviously then if you start attacking enemies, there's a chance that their head um, might, their parasite might grow. So then I, I kind of stay away from using this type of rifle only when I need to. Um, but right now, since we're still in the beginning, it's fair game. So I try to use it 
to uh, shoot their head off when I can. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. Because that way, we can kind of save a little bit of ammo. Also, oh, hell yeah, I think ammo. Sir, sir, can you stop throwing those things? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. There we go. All right, let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we got him. All right. All right. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind fighting those things because, like I said, right now we're pretty OP. But um, your boy does not want to fight those things unless I got to. But, yeah. In case people are wondering, that's kind of why I'm using the sniper rifle. Once that animation comes that shows us that we're getting our first, you know, the, the zombies are growing that extra parasite head, um, I stop using it only to fight those things, but right now we're not fighting those things, so it's still a fair game. Alright, let's see. I would take ammo right now. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, five bullets isn't a whole lot, um, but uh, I'll take it where I can get it. That's locked. That's not what I I thought it was later on, but uh, this one is locked also, so that can be a problem. Um, I always tell people to try and save as much small keys as possible, um, because especially for certain areas you may not return, or it might be harder for you to return. So you uh, you want to be able to get the uh, part, uh, you know the whatever part is in that uh chest or cabinet that's locked what's that damn noise? that man's really trying to get in there <sighs> and for those that are asking why i don't go up behind them and and sometimes you know you can go up behind them and, oh damn oh okay yeah sir thank you damn. Um, and the, I know that one question, as I was saying before, I was interrupted by this man for freaking no reason. Um, the reason that I generally don't, uh, use, uh, the knife to basically do stealth attacks is because I generally try to save it for when they're on the ground, they start shaking, and I, you know, you can kill them that way. Um, only because if, where the hell am, oh, there it is. Um, because otherwise you could run into the fact of not having a knife and then now you're fighting all these super zombies. That hurts, you know? It seemed like you really wanted to talk. How I'm sure, Monsignor. Now, uh, say, uh, you gotta smoke? You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just some timey then, huh? <clears throat> Joder, not this guy! Who are you? Okay, stop right there! <sighs> Oh my god, that dude is huge. Alright, I guess it's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, peace.